All right. Uh-huh. Chinese food. Oh, there's my Chinese food. I gotta run. <laughs> All you. Don't you remember we always talked about how cool it would be to have a van and just drive? We were 10. We don't want a van. Keep the van and just get a bumper sticker that says, if this van's a rockin', don't come a knockin'. Hey, it's Georgie. Let me put your father on the phone. Ma, who's this? <laughs> Dad, it's me. Hey, uh, listen, I was at uh, Fortune Office the other day, and you know what? You were right. Chinese food. <laughs> Sorry, George, our Chinese food just came. Talk to you later. Chinese food? So, maybe they had Chinese food. After dark? Please. At their age, it's like swallowing stun grenades. <laughs> well, there's one way to check where there's Chinese food. There's leftovers. What are you doing here? Just dropped in for a visit. You, uh, you never called me back. Oh, uh, the phone broke. <laughs> well, you gotta get moving. What? Where are you going? We have a catered affair. You going like that? It's creative black tie. Move, woman. <laughs> no Chinese leftovers. I'm just getting suspicious. So you want to take a ride with me out to Jersey? I'm going to try and sell the van to a lot. A dealer? Are you insane? No, take out an ad, sell it privately. Just let me help you. OK. All right, OK. Here we go, yeah. So uh, for sale. For sale, a big, juicy van. <laughs> and ooh, we gotta put down interesting trades considered. I don't want to trade. No, 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 you don't have to. See, it's all about tickling their bang bone. Welcome back. <gasps> Pretty quick for a uh, catered affair. I don't know what you mean. You ditched me. That's twice. Now, I demand to know what's going on. George, we've had it with you. I'm not following. I'm sorry, George. We're cutting you loose. You're cutting me loose? <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to make love to your mother. My parents think they can ignore me. <laughs> well, they better think again. Oh, no, George, please. What are you going to do? You remember my cousin, Risa? I'm gonna date her. Mother of God. <laughs> One little wink. She'll freak out, tell my parents. They'll be all over me. So how come you're selling it? You know why I'm selling it. Is this thing bent? <laughs> Not paying for that. All right, just get out of here. You know, Risa, I, uh... I've always found you very attractive. You want to borrow money, right? I, I just want us to be together. All right. All right. Let's go for it. Well, we could dance around it a little first. Nah. Let's be bad, George. Let's be really bad. Well, but, wait a minute. He's picking up the van tonight? This is perfect. I'll drive Risa to someplace romantic, then when my father slides the door open, I'm in the van kissing his brother's daughter. Good. You left the door unlocked. Why did Kramer have to park the van in the woods? Isn't it obvious? There are no parking meters out here. Wow. Hey, look at this. Uche <laughs> mama. You must be George's cousin. Girlfriend. All right. So what is that? That van's a rocket. Don't go a knocking. Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh, you gotta sell this van. Oh. Yeah. Ari
Kariyam, Kariyam, Mirna, Mirna.